All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be watching Aliens from 1979. Now, I'm actually really damn excited for this movie because this is an old classic movie. The only thing I have like associated with this movie is like, I was super young, I was probably like six, and it was on my, it was playing in my living room just like one day, and I, I go, I'm like, what the, f what's this, you know? And like, as like a six year old, I'm seeing like space, and I'm like, oh, space is sick. And I'm like, what is this? And then I see like, I see something and I'm like, oh fuck. And like, I don't know what, I don't remember like what I saw, but I just like saw something in it. And I was like, let's get the fuck out of here. And the only other thing I have, a, I can like associate to this movie is in when in Infinity War, Peter goes, you ever see that really old movie Aliens, you know? And then they blow a hole in the side of the ship. That's like the only thing I know about this movie. And I don't know if that's like technically a spoiler. It, I'm sure it's gonna come up sometime in the movie, but I'm just gonna forget that I know that part. But, but yeah, I'm completely blind to this movie. I know there's an alien. I know what it looks like, and that's like that's literally the only thing I know about this movie. So, you know, it's an old classic movie. I hear I hear this is one of the greatest movies of all time. You know, a lot of people will say this is just as good as Star Wars. Which, in that case. I'm really damn excited for this movie. I've always had like an interest in space. You know, it's just like, it's so fun to learn about space. You know, I don't know why, but it just is. Like, you know, like those random like info YouTube videos are like, oh, 10 facts about space, or we found this planet, dot, 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 or some shit like that, like some clickbait shit like that or whatever, or images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope, stuff like that, you know, like, it's always really interesting to learn about space, and this is a horror movie in space. Now, I'm not really sure how scary it's going to be, but, like, I'm kind of expecting, like, a Halloween-type vibe to where it's, like, like, it's not necessarily, like, scary, but there's a lot of tension in it and holds a lot of weight within it does that make sense you know like there might be a couple jump scares but it's not like based on it's not gonna like it doesn't rely on jump scares to make it like scary you know it's like the tension of what happens makes it scary that's what i'm expecting like that's pretty much how halloween was you know i was expecting halloween to be like oh shit you know like fucking terrifying but it, it's like oh I, I was expecting like a jump scare like every fucking five minutes in halloween but no not at all so since this movie was made around the same time, I'm kind of expecting the same thing. So, so yeah, I'm gonna stop wasting time. I'm just gonna hop right into this movie. If you wanna watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next four movies that I do will also be on Patreon. So let's get started. Okay, I feel like the ship feels really like empty and quiet. It feels kind of abandoned. Like I already have a bad feeling about this. Okay, it looks like her crew. It looks like they're all sleeping. But they have a cat with them? Why would you bring a cat on a space mission with you? I guess you could. I swear to God, that cat better not fucking die. That's not our system. I know that. Hmm. They're in the wrong space system. They're in the wrong territory. That's why the aliens are about to board. You have to check it out. A transmission? Out here? Okay, so their course has changed because they got a unknown transmission. SOS. I don't know. Human. No, sweetie. Probably not. Damn, it looks really good for 1979. What the hell was that? Pressure drop. Damn. Alright, well, that was. Shit. That's going fucking horrible. Damn, the landing popped a hole. No biggie. Yeah, I might need those. All right, so we're going for a little walksies out here. <laughs> Why don't you just fuck off? What? Who are you? Uh, mother hasn't identified it yet. All right, let's hear this transmission. Seems, uh, looks definitely alien to me. God, they have some fucking nuts to go out on an unknown planet and just walk around. I mean, like, I guess they find comfort in the idea of, like, thinking about, yeah, no shot. There, what the fuck is that? Ash, can you see this? Okay, I was about to say they probably find comfort in the fact that, yeah, no shot. There's any, any 
life forms out here. Okay, bro, do not go in that. Do not. Don't do not go and explore that. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get let's leave. On. We have to go on. No, we don't. Well, will you say that again? Okay, look, dog. Obviously, that's not naturally made from the planet. Okay, that is a like something built that. Okay, and if you go inside, they're probably in there. I get it's their job to like research it, but like still, dude. Like, like you're literally just asking them to die if you go in there. Dallas. Oh, he lost connection. God, oh god, oh god, oh god, we're inside. Oh god. What the fuck is this? Get the hell out of here. Yeah, probably should. Lambert, come on over here. Bro, no, no, do not go down there. Do not go down there. Well, I, it looks like a warning. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go out after them. What's the point? What you to get there, you'll they'll know if it's a warning or not. Yes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, and he lost connection to them, so he can't like hit him up on the radio and be like, yo. The shit that transmission we got, that was a warning. Come back now. Oh my god, they're fucking going down it. I mean, yeah, okay, by the time the other astronaut gets in here, you probably won't be able to find them or like, catch up to them. Oh my god, this is huge. This is completely. Bro, those look like eggs. <laughs> Leathery objects like eggs or something. Yeah, yep. Dog, they're gonna hatch. You gotta go. You're gonna trigger them to hatch. Alright, oh, is he gonna take one back to the ship? Please don't. This went broke. Okay, I just slipped. Dog, don't. Don't. Well, if there's eggs, then there's probably a mother somewhere, too. Oh! What the fuck was that? What did you do? What'd you do, bro? Oh, shit. Okay, they're alive. They're still alive inside the egg. <laughs> I mean, you don't know what it is. So, like, from his perspective, he's like, we found organic life on another planet. But you don't you don't know if it's a threat or not. And it fucking hatched. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That, that one, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Oh. It left. Wow. Wait, why is there only two of them? Why is there only two? There was three of them, right? They're clean. Let us in. What happened to Kane? Yeah. Something has attached itself to him. We have to get him to the infirmary right away. What kind of thing? Oh, okay. That could be infected. You know the quarantine procedure. 24. Yeah. I mean, we could all die. Look, could you open the goddamn... I like her. She's, she's rational. I like her. No. Yeah. My position, you do the same. Yeah. Open that hatch right now. No, bro, she can't. Yes, I read you. The answer is negative. Oh, he did it anyway. Wow, he did it anyway. <laughs> I mean, dude, she's right. You're gonna contaminate the entire ship. Like, bro, for all they know, this could give them an infection and just wipe them all out. This could literally give them fucking COVID and <laughs> they don't fucking die. Uh. Oh god, it's on his- oh, it went through his helmet on his face! Oh god. What the hell is that? Uh. 
Okay, so it's just a little tiny baby alien. Uh, I'm ass so I'm assuming the mother comes for it on their ship. <gasps> mm. It's probably not choking him yet. It just got tighter around his neck. I mean, yeah, freezing it probably isn't a bad idea. It got down his throat. I was just oh. it's feeding him oxygen. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, how the fuck is he breathing? Like, it's, it looks like it's suction cupped on his face. How is, how was he, like, I was wondering, how is he breathing? But it's giving him oxygen. Lay the knuckle in. Right here, stand by him. Dude, we're already 40 minutes into this movie. It doesn't even feel like it. Oh. Ah. That crap's gonna eat through the hole. Oh, fuck. That's like acid, bro. Don't get under it. Don't get under it. Yeah. How do you stop it, then? Just put a... It's gonna burn through whatever you try and stop it with. Looks like it's stopping. Oh, never mind. It's got a wonderful defense mechanism. Mm-hmm. Dude, if you cut that... If you cut that thing open and it, and it gets on Kane, then he's fucking dead. So, I guess, I guess you just leave him like that until you get back to Earth. Like, I guess that's just a plan. But it's going to be a while till you get back to Earth. So, can you keep him alive till then? You don't know. So, to adverse environmental condition. Oh, great. I think I'm sorry. Okay. Dick. Mm -hmm. And you let him in. Oh, yeah, it's kind of his fault. Fortunately, by uh, breaking quarantine, you risk everybody's life. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a dilemma, you know. I, I get it. Like, you don't want your boy to die. <laughs> but then again, you don't want to compromise everyone else on the ship. So, I'm probably I'm probably letting him on. Just because I, I, I can't make the conscious decision to just let him die. Like, the risk letting him die, you know? I mean, it's not like guaranteed he's gonna die, but I I would say there's a pretty high chance he would've. Without knowing anything. Something's happened. Oh. Where is it? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Oh, fuck. I mean, we have to try and find it. Let's check it. It left his face. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That didn't make me jump, but I felt my entire body get cold. <laughs> Kane? Mm. Yeah. Ah! Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Go with him, will you? Oh, Jeez, like a crab. Excuse me. Dude, what if a giant jumps on him? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Kane's dead enough. Oh. Oh, good. Yeah, let's go. Get rid of it. Oh, it's dead. Never mind. To the species like this, it has to go back. All sorts of tests have to be made. Ash, are you? Yeah, you gotta bring it back to Earth. Just put it in like a metal box, and just well, it doesn't matter if that thing just explodes with acid. It's your ship's off. Put it in water. Then what? Trust him. I don't trust anybody. I mean, uh, you don't trust him because he's doing what's best for the name of science, but it, it compromises everyone else. Look, I just want to get the hell out of here, all right? Oh, all right. I guess we're good enough to take off. It's freezing. I mean, he's got a disease. Why don't we stop it where it is? You can always get... Yeah, freezing, is pro freezing that thing is probably the best thing to do. Just give me the short version. How far to Earth? Yeah. Ten months. Oh, God. Ten months? I mean... It's not that bad. I think you should come and see Kane. Has his condition changed? It's simpler if you just come and see... Fuck. But ten months... Fuck, that's a while, bro. <laughs> oh. He's awake. Anyway, where are we? Oh. Right here. We're on our way home. Yeah, Damn. back to the old freezerinos. <laughs> it's like he had a concussion, kind of. Why did he look like that? <laughs> oh, no. What's the matter? The food ate that. Oh, no. <laughs> There's probably something inside of him because that thing was like on his throat. Oh no. Wait, wait, I know it's guys, I know it's about to happen. I literally just remembered. I literally just remembered another Peter Parker reference. Fuck. Oh, oh. Yeah. 
Yep. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, I'm killing that thing immediately. I'm killing that immediately. Holy shit. Oh, no, 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 you fucker. I, I knew that guy was gonna do something. See, I know I knew he'd want to keep it alive. <laughs> Doc. Okay, this is where I'm like, fuck your science. I'm I'm curb stomping that thing. I'm stomping on that thing immediately. <laughs> but okay. But dude, okay. When I realized what was gonna happen, it was like um, Peter Parker in Infinity War, whatever, he's, he, like, he, like, makes a reference about, like, yeah, like, aliens popping out of his chest or something like that, and then when he sees Mantis, he, like, freaks out because, like, he thinks that's gonna happen to him. Wait. <laughs> Look at her. What are you doing, huh? Are you gonna plant eggs in my chest? What are you doing? Quick intermission, guys. Quick intermission. Oh, big yawn, big yawn. Oh. What the fuck? Did they just launch it into space? It's probably the best thing they could possibly fucking do. Catch it, put it in the airlock. Oh wait, they didn't launch it in the space. Okay, never mind. They stopped okay, they still have to find it. I guess they launched the first thing in the space. I don't I don't fucking know. Yeah, I think I got it mixed up. I think they launched the thing that was attached to its face in the space. And yeah, they're looking for the one that came out of its chest right now. Cause yeah, I didn't see them catch it. I got kinda confused because I had to switch clip I had like start a new clip. And I think I missed something. As I was starting it, like when I was trying to sync it up, it probably said said something. Oh, oh it was just a cat. Oh, oh dude. Yeah, no, that thing's gonna kill the fucking cat. <sighs> really hope this cat doesn't die. Watch, oh, he's gonna find the alien by accident. Oh. It's shedding? Yeah, I think it's shedding. <sighs> I got a bad feeling. <gasps> Wait. Wait, this thing is fucking huge. Wait. I got to see the cat's face. Ah. Okay, dude, that thing is fucking huge. Okay, no, sh no way. That little thing that ripped out of his chest grew to that big that fast. Sick. Zero percent. You're going to die. Okay, I'm through. Ripley? Yes. Close all the hatches behind me. Oh. Oh no. Things not working. Position for a minute, I... Oh. I've lost the signal. Dallas. I'm sure that it's not there. I mean, it's gotta be around there somewhere. No, that, that thing's there. It's very close. Am I, am I Claire Lambert? I want to get the hell out of here. Yeah. It's too late now. Move! Get out of there! <laughs> yeah, Dallas, you gotta just chop. You gotta go. You gotta go. Move, Dallas! Get out! Oh! No, 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 no. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Dallas? R.I.P. Dallas. He didn't even have a chance to burn that shit. Oh. Hmm. No Dallas. Oh. Nothing. Damn. 
No blood? Don't... We get the shuttle and just get the hell out of here. We take our chances and... Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, let's uh. talk about killing it. We know it's using the air shaft. Bulkhead and every vent until we have it cornered and then we'll blow it the fuck out into space. <laughs> Perfect. But we have to stick together. Yes. What the fuck? Oh, Ashes, wait. How That's an explanation for this, you know. Oh, he coded it like that on purpose. He just wants to experiment on this thing. He doesn't give a shit. You guys fucking die. Bro. Ash, what are you doing? You open the door? What the fuck? What's that does not look like sweat. That looks like fucking milk. He got stabbed or something. It's above him. Ah! Oh. Wait. No? Dog, I don't think that's sweat on his face. That's some thick ass fucking sweat if it is. Looks strong as shit. Okay, something definitely happened to him. And choke her? Dude, come on. Try and suffocate her. Bro. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the fuck? It's a robot. Ash is a goddamn robot. Wait, what? Ash is a fucking robot. What? Okay, so that explains how he coded Mother to react to look. Okay. What about our lives, you son of a bitch? Expendable. How, how do we do it? You can't. Can't, you gotta send that bitch into space. We're gonna blow up the ship. Okay, that was a fucking twist. We'll take our chances in the shuttle. Blow up the ship. Yeah, I I will take my chances in the shuttle. Thank you very much. But then you gotta think about like food and water and the bathroom and like you know, and you got they're ten months away from Earth. Could the shuttle even make it that far? You know. We'll blow this fucker off into space. Okay. Right. Ready? Okay, so. Seven minutes. Fuck, seven minutes. <gasps> no, she's gonna go back and save the cat. Fuck. Do you try and save the cat or not? Uh, I If the cat's like really damn close, I'm grabbing it. I'm bringing it on the shuttle. But... If it's like kind of far, I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> Fuck, I, I hope she doesn't die. I like her. <laughs> How you doing? Fine. God damn, they're making so much noise. Fucking a. Okay, okay, she got the cat. <laughs> okay, good shit, good stuff, good stuff. And last time the aim. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Fucking a. Get out of the way, <laughs> Bro, I'd be fucking frozen. I would not know what to do. Like, I'd be so scared, I could literally couldn't move. <laughs> oh. No, Parker. Damn. 
waxed. So now it's just her. Destruction system. T minus 10 says 10 minutes. She's like, I can't fucking believe I'm about to do this. The emergency destruct system is now activated. All right, 10 minutes. Oh, and the cat. Do not forget about the cat. The I do not like these strobe lights. Minutes. Oh. No, she left the cat. Oh, that's so tough. R.I.P. the cat. 26, 25. Fuck, you gotta go. And you gotta clear the fucking blast radius of this ship. That's. Wait. Oh, she's trying to pause it. Yeah. She. Oh, she's trying to pause it. <laughs> It's because she left the cat behind. She has to make sure she gets the cat. She needs more time. We got 10 seconds. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, you just gotta go. You just. Okay, honestly, pers I'd rather probably die in an explosion than die by this fucking thing. Oh, Jones is still alive. Okay, we we got Jones. All right, come on. Holy fuck! Come on. Okay, she's on the shuttle. We have one minute to abandon. Fuck. Minus one minute. Fuck. You got one minute. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You gotta clear the blast radius, too. Come on, come on, come on. Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. Twenty-six. We're making it. We made it. We made it. Two, Twenty-one. Twenty-seven. Oh, uh, yeah, you gotta... Eighteen. Oh, no. Four. Three. Two. two one. Alright, we felt... Okay. Oh, my God. All right, well, she fucking did it. She blew that shit up, killed that fucking thing. Yeah, I got you, you son of a bitch. I mean, all her friends died, but... At least she got away, but now what? Now what? Now what does she do? Just die on the shuttle? Yeah, okay. It's kind of clutch how she got the cat, because now it's like... At least she has some sort of company. She's not gonna go fucking insane being by herself. I mean, it is just a cat, but it's better than nothing. Watch, watch something be on her fucking shuttle, like a piece of it or some shit like that. Oh, she has some food on the shuttle, at least. I don't know about 10 months worth. Dude, unless she could literally just like go in the fucking cryo and just and have the ship just automatically set course for Earth, you know, and just be frozen until then. And then she doesn't wake up until like she's a day out or something first. She need, and she needs to be able to make contact with everyone on Earth. Ah! Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? No fucking chance. No way, dude. No way this thing was on the shuttle. What? Dude. This thing was just taking a fucking nap. What the hell? So there, there has to be more than one of them. Oh my god. Yeah, this thing's just taking a fucking nap. Oh, she's getting in that fucking... That suit. You know why I didn't kill the cat? Because that cat's a flirter, okay? <laughs> From, like, Captain Marvel. They're actually scared of the cat, okay? I know the, the cat's in, like, that chamber right now, but I meant, like, earlier. Just walk up to it and just shoot her right in the fucking head. Right between the eyes. It's your best chance. You get one shot. Lucky, 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 lucky. What is she doing? 
Oh, she's gonna open the airlock. That's what she's doing. So this thing just gets sucked the fuck out. That's what she's doing. Okay. Yeah. Ah, fuck you. Ah. Uh, Ugh, oh, I feel kind of bad. <laughs> nah, no, 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 I don't. Oh, open that fucking airlock now. Oh. <gasps> yep, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. <laughs> oh, it's on the fucking. No! You gotta open that airlock or turn the fucking the jets on. <laughs> oh, I just fucking incinerate it. <sighs> Report the commercial starship Nostromo. Okay, now she fucking did it. The other members of the crew got waxed. <laughs> I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. Oh. Look me up. This is Ripley. Oh, six weeks? Okay. The network in six Dying weeks. Hunts. What, just so she gets a connection back to them? And then she can tell them maybe what happened? Come on, Cat. I hope she has enough food. I hope her food didn't get fucking sucked out too when she opened it. Does she have enough food and water to last six weeks? Oh, okay. Well, that was that's the end of the movie. All right. Well, that was fucking Alien. Okay. All right. So that was Aliens from 1979. That was a very good movie. That was pretty damn good. Felt like a good classic, you know. Okay. And like one thing I noticed about the movie is like this is how you know they really they do a really good job of pulling you into the movie and how well they just built the tension because this movie fucking flew by for me like i didn't realize it like okay i thought it was maybe like 15 20 minutes it felt like into the movie and i check and i'm like dude i'm like 50 minutes into it holy shit and then like you know how i have to like stop the clip after like 50 minutes start a new one and then like the second clip i started dude i was 45 minutes into it without even like realizing i was like what the hell this movie did a damn good job of pulling me in and like when i was watching it i was solely focused on this movie i wasn't thinking about anything else i don't know what it is about like older movies but older movies just have like this vibe to them to where they're just like it's so satisfying to watch. I don't know why. It's like, I guess it's just like the cameras they're using and like the sound. I don't know. It just pulls me in more to it. Honestly, I guess it's more about like, okay, back in 1979, they're more limited to what they could do. And so they actually focused on making a really, really engaging movie instead of just like, ah, oh, fuck it. We'll just add this in there and post, blah, blah. We'll just do that later. You know, oh, the the visuals will make up for the sort for the script and the plot and everything you know maybe it's something like that let me know what you guys get okay if you know what if you know what i mean let me know down below like if you like if you know what i'm talking about let me know down below like i want to see good i like okay what i really liked is how they're not really they're not really telling you what happens they don't they don't explain what happens they don't take the time to explain it like some things yeah but it kind of just seems like no that just fits in the movie like that's just a normal conversation the astronauts would have with each other instead because like you know in some movies it's like two characters are talking and like you know in order for the movie to explain something they have a character just say it but and sometimes they say stuff like they say like unnecessarily you know it's like okay in a real conversation they would never say that but they didn't do that in this movie. Everything they did say between each other is something that they probably realistically would say. Nothing, nothing more, nothing more. Okay, one thing this movie did really well was build tension really damn well. It was like, this movie had me on edge. I was like, dude, what the fuck is gonna happen? You know? And there wasn't much talking in it. There wasn't an unnecessary amount of talking. It was just, it was the right amount for this movie, for like a horror movie or just, Honestly, any movie in general, it's like they sh they show you instead of telling you what's happening. Fuck. And I actually kind of prefer that because like, I don't know, I don't know about you, but like, it, it's really soothing when like the sound design of a movie, like, okay, them just like moving shit, like, that. Well, okay, when they were talking to mother, right? They 
they weren't saying anything they were just typing and then like showing they showed us the screen of what mother would say back blah blah but it's just like it felt okay it had like a christopher nolan vibe because he does that a lot in his movies like he lets the sound of everything kind of tell you what's happening instead of like the characters saying it I, I, does that make sense i hope that makes sense and like i i really prefer that i really like when movies do that because when a movie has a really nice like sound design to it Mm, it's so much better i i love it when a movie has really damn good sound design it's so like satisfying it's like it's like asmr kind of you know that's probably the best way i could explain it but yeah that was aliens from 1979 we're definitely gonna do the sequel to it so so comment down below what you thought about this movie and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching